substance. The basic, um, I think, I think there are two basic intuition behind the traditional conception of substance. Um, there are level of existence. Uh, there are things which, relatively speaking, are self sufficiently sufficient, and the others which are not relatively. So, for example, chair is self sufficient in a way in which color is not. So, in that sense, chair is the substance and color is not. The second intuition is that when you explain change, you have to think of something which changes. You can't explain change. And that goes back to the debate between Parmenidians and, and Heraclitians. Um, if everything change, changes, as Heraclitus say, then there's nothing to, which changes. So the whole notion of motion becomes untenable in that sense. And I'm not saying this is a, <laughs> this is a the argument which necessarily is decisive, but this is, these are two important intuitions behind the notion of substance. And I don't think uh, relativity can destroy or <laughs> any physics can destroy these two notions or reject them decisively at certain level of explanation, at all levels of explanation. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So matter for common sense is something which